everybody, Zeev here. Welcome to this video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about two groups of instruments, the suturing instruments and the assistant instruments included in the intuitive surgical kit. In the previous videos, we talked about the six different incision and flap instruments. We talked about the osseous instruments. We talked about the bone grafting instruments. And the two last groups of instruments are suturing instruments and assistant instruments. Each group has three critical tools, starting with suturing. First instrument, cotton pliers. We call it stitch one. That's to hold tissue and delicate structure. They're lightly serrated. Instrument number two is the Castro Viejo, which is my preferred needle holder. It has a locking mechanism that with one click locks in the needle and with another press it uh, releases the needle. Uh, very important for accurate and precise suturing. And instrument number three are the curved scissors. Suturing instruments stitch one, stitch two, and stitch three. The assistant instruments are three as well. Instrument number one is our Minnesota retractor. That's to retract the tongue, the lip, the cheek, and often when you have a large flap, it can be retracted with the Minnesota as well. That tool is called Assistant 1. Instrument number 2 is our number 5 mirror. It's called Assistant 2. We have two of them in the kit. We use mirrors all the time in surgery, mostly for retraction. We, we don't do surgeries uh, indirectly through a mirror, or it would be rather rare, but we use mirrors to retract the lip, the cheek, the tongue, protect different structures, and therefore we have two of them in the kit, one for my use, one for the assistant's use. And the last tool, the third tool, is called assistant three, and that's a hemostat. We use the hemostat to remove blades from the blade holder, because we want to do it carefully with no injuries. We use it to stabilize a suture when we do continuous uh, sling sutures for grafting. We typically lock in the end of the suture, sometimes to loosen up a temporary crown. It's a useful tool. And although both the doctor and the assistant can use the hemostat, I felt it would be appropriate to call it an assistant tool. It's not a, a surgical tool proper. It's meant to assist us with the different things we're doing during surgery. So now you have it. In the past videos, I talked to you about the vision for a basic surgical kit. It's now available from Surgical Master. It's called the Intuitive Surgical Kit. It has all five important groups of instruments, the flap instruments, the osseous instruments, bone grafting instruments, suturing instruments and of course our assistant instruments and i designed this kit with the logic and simplicity of a periodontist that's me i wanted to keep things simple organized so you don't have to struggle with overwhelm or confusion there's enough th there are enough things out there that are overwhelming and confusing uh, let's not make it the case for surgical instruments uh, it's also color-coded, so your assistant immediately knows which instruments to use. For example, the flap instruments are black, the osseous instruments are blue, bone grafting instruments are beautiful gold, the suturing instruments are shiny silver, and the assistant instruments are matte silver. Uh, so, you know, I feel like this is also a very beautiful kit. You know, there, there are enough ugly things out there in the world. We wanted to make this kit also nice to look at, fun to utilize, and more than anything, practical and intuitive. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I hope I created some clarity for you when it comes to surgical instrumentation. Remember that in order to be successful in surgery, you need the knowledge, you need the information. That's not enough, you need to be clear about it. You need to have a fair amount of preparation and you need to be using an excellent and trusted surgical kit. Take care.